So I'm just about to start to make a Moroccan chicken tagine. I have never made this before, but apparently it's a very, very good recipe. I will leave the original recipe linked in the description box, but as always, I tend to change things a little bit. So I'm gonna be using chicken thigh fillets. I just think it's a nicer meat than chicken breast, especially for things that go in the slow cooker because it doesn't dry out. So I've got quite a big pack, this is 900 grams. You're also gonna need some olives, some honey, We've got ginger, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika. Actually, it's not smoked, it's just normal paprika. Normal paprika, some ground cinnamon, some ground cumin. I've got two onions. I'm gonna make up some chicken stock. We're gonna use some garlic and some fresh coriander. Then I'm also gonna add in some carrots, a pepper and some lemon and then salt and pepper and flour for thickening. So I'll leave all the amounts typed out in the description box as well and I will take through step by step what I'm gonna do. I am gonna start this off in the pan. A lot of slow cooker recipes I do like when you just throw them all in, but the spices need toasting to kind of bring out the flavors and also the chicken thighs need browning slightly to begin with. After that, everything else is gonna get chucked in and we will see what happens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is combine my spices in a small bowl. So I'm going to use one teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ground cumin, I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, the recipe calls for a quarter but we quite like our spice so I'm going to put half a teaspoon of cayenne, it's actually a little bit more. So the recipe calls for ground ginger, but I am using ginger paste and it says about half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna pop that in as well. And then I'm also gonna put around half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So that's our spices. So I'm just gonna zest my lemon. I've used like a lemon that I've already started because the ones I've got are massive. So this is like a normal sized lemon and I'm just, I'm just gonna zest that. <laughs> really? So I'm using chopped frozen garlic because it's just easier. And I'm gonna use five teaspoons in total. So what I'm gonna do is add one teaspoon to one teaspoon of the lemon zest and then keep the rest of it. So that's probably around half of the lemon. Mix those two together. So I've heated up some oil in a pan and I'm just gonna brown off my chicken thighs. It really adds to the flavor, so it is an important step. I Right, so once your chicken is browned, you need to remove it from the pan and you can leave the remaining like little bits and pieces that will just add flavour and the oil. And what we're going to do now is add in our onions and I'm going to let those cook for about four minutes or so. Then I'm going to add in my garlic, my spices and my stock. And after that, we are going to put everything else in the slow cooker and let it do its thing. Once my onions have started to brown nicely, I'm going to add in my remaining four teaspoons of garlic or four cloves, depending on whether you use fresh or frozen. And also my spices. Just going to let those toast off for a couple of minutes. And make sure you scrape all the bits off the bottom of the pan because that's where all your flavour is. I'm now gonna add in the remaining lemon zest that I didn't mix with the garlic. I've also got about a tablespoon of the lemon juice, so that's gonna go in. Pour in my 400 ml of chicken stock, and this will help deglaze the pan. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of honey, and two tablespoons of plain flour. I'm gonna mix that all together and then that is gonna go on top of my chicken into the slow cooker. I'm gonna add my carrots and my peppers 
Then we'll put it on low for about six hours before adding our last few ingredients just before we are ready to serve. Right, on top of my browned chicken, I'm just gonna add my chopped pepper, my sliced carrots, and my sauce. And then this is everything you're gonna need to do until the very, very end. So I'm just gonna mix it through, put it on low for six hours, and then we'll be back. And the house is smelling really good. Give that a good stir. Make sure everything's covered. And that is it for the next six hours. Right, so our chicken has been in for about five and a half hours and I'm just gonna start my rice or my sides. So what I'm gonna do now is get the garlic and the lemon zest that I had from earlier and I put to one side. I'm gonna add in that. I'm also going to add in about half a jar of green olives and about two tablespoons of fresh chopped coriander. And I'm just going to mix that through and by the time I've finished with my side dishes, whatever I decide to make, I think I'm going to do rice, then it will be ready to serve. So here we are served up. I've just done some plain boiled rice. The chicken is falling apart and we've also got some nice cheesy loaf of bread to go with it and really looking forward to trying it the smells are amazing and it's just gone so tender chicken is literally just so falling apart melting your mouth and this is what it looked like finished in the slow cooker here for dinner tonight we've got a really simple one just a homemade spaghetti bolognese using a lean beef mint my homemade sauce and just some spiral pasta bit of grated cheddar on top and a couple of slices of garlic bread and this is what's for dinner tonight so we are also having bolognese tonight but we aren't having pasta with ours we have got some pak choy that he's using up i don't know if this can be air fried but we're going to do it anyway we've got some thinly sliced courgette we've got some mushrooms in the air fryer we've got some thinly sliced carrots and we're going to have that as a base with some like salt pepper maybe some chili flakes and then we're going to put our bolognese on top of that and maybe a little bit of greek you've got something like that but this is what we're having for dinner so here is our dinner dished up it's a bit of a strange one i've added a big handful of spinach into our bolognese some cayenne pepper we've got a courgette our carrot i've got the pak choy in there as well and what else do we have courgette carrot oh and some mushrooms and I'm gonna put a little bit of natural yogurt on top. And this is what we've got for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner, I have done fish in buns, a um, bit like a filet with some salad cream and some lettuce. We've got some oven chips, and then there's also a bread roll over there for the boys to put their chips in with some butter if they want. And this is what's for dinner tonight. Our own version of filet of fish. So for tonight's dinner we have got very basic but we've got some mini whole wheat tortilla wraps. We've got some grilled chicken that I've done on our little t fowl XL grill and I didn't even marinate it, it's just plain. So we've got some sweet chilli sauce, cucumber, some tomato, a little bit of red onion. Then we've got some yoghurt and mint dressing on the top and some cayenne pepper. I've also put some sweet chilli sauce and this is what we're having for our dinner tonight. And I am going to wrap them up, but I thought I'd leave them open. Otherwise, it would just be a plain wrap. So this is what's for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner, we have got a roast. So I've done some gammon steaks, which I've roasted in the oven. We've got roast potatoes. And we've got some tender stem broccoli, some stuffing that my mum actually sent over in wrapped individual little portions. <laughs> she makes big like blocks of it and then pops it in her freezer and wraps it up individually. And Oscar said, we don't have any stuffing, Nanny. So she sent one over each for us. And we've got some roasted mushrooms and some roasted carrots. And this is what we're having for our dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight we have got ramen with some chicken in, we've got baby corn, pak choy, uh, mushrooms, onions, noodles, ramen broth and then we've got some seasoning on the top, we've got some chilies in there, some coriander, I think it's coriander <laughs> and this is what we have for our dinner tonight. So 
for tonight's dinner we have got these pockets get the boxes tortilla bit of pocket kit thing um that is not what they're gonna look like is it when they're all full up <laughs> but yeah this is what we have got for dinner tonight i like to serve them separately so everyone can help themselves but we don't all have to like dive in around the table because somebody always gets left with all the peppers and no chicken so this is what we've got for dinner tonight pancake day <laughs> <laughs> We've got two pans going on. Yeah. And a lot of mess. No mess. Yeah, there is. <laughs> what is that? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's concentrated sugar. <laughs> it's a sugar Why stuff. I'm guys? not playing with you guys. What have you done? Didn't give us knives and forks. <laughs> oh, what are you eating <laughs> your fingers? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> Did you not get it? I like we drinking live extra. I don't think we've got any. I think I'm looking fridge. Oh. <laughs> no. What else you put in your little tiny little spoon? Oh, this is just carnage, isn't it? Can you see it? It's because it's, it's yeah. Not real. It's not the flicking squatty cranio. There's no more. What is this? I was gonna squirt it in my mouth, but it's just air. Well, hold on, get it, get it. Out. <laughs> How am I gonna stop it now? <laughs> So for dinner tonight, Steve and I are just having some chicken goujon and halloumi sandwiches. We've got some chilli jam that my sister made, some lettuce, some onion, a little bit of light mayonnaise, chicken goujons and some halloumi. I've put them both on the same plate, but obviously we're going to have a separate plate. Um, I just thought I'd show you because it looks really, really nice and this is what we're having tonight. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too